Hi everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Alan Cat. So in this hot series, we will be continuing with discussion of brilliant LRDI sets, which are very useful for our cat. Okay. So without further ado, let's hop on to the set. So in today's session, I am discussing uh, a set which is really hot recently, uh, although it's in a negative way because India has lost the final, but okay, we'll try to uh, solve a set on cricket. So this set is named Indian cricket team. Okay. So all the players you might be following the World Cup, all the players are here. Kohli, Rohit, Shreyas, Rahul, Gil, uh, Surya, Kuldeep, Jadeja, Shami and Pandya. So now let's try to understand what this table means and how we'll uh, unlock this. Okay. So it has been given that Gil and Rohit were the opening batsmen. Okay. So these two batsmen opened the innings. You know? So this is something related to some score uh, of the Indian teams and the players. So 10 players are mentioned. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Okay. So this was the line that I saw the first. Okay. So this saying ki Rohit and Gil were the opening batsmen. Okay. Fine. That's clear for us. Now let's read the set. The table below gives information about the innings of Indian team in cricket match of ICC World Cup 2023. So there is one cricket match, uh, one innings of India and some table is being given to us. Okay. Fine. The numbers given in the table denote the difference between the runs scored by the team when those players were out okay so say th this table is depicting difference between the score of the team not the individual players when they got out now how will we uh, interpret this this will be uh, tricky okay so there is one example given to enhance our understanding of that link for example if the score of the team when Kohli got out was k okay so let me take uh Kohli is getting out okay and Team score is K at that time. Okay. For example, team score is it can be anything. For example, Kohli is getting out when Indian team score is 98. Okay. Indian team score maybe 118. Indian team score maybe 180, 200. Anything it is, anything is possible. Okay. So Kohli is getting out. Team score is K. Now let's see how to read this table. Okay. The score of the team when Surya got out. So first let's move to Kohli and then map Surya. Okay. So there is 104 being mentioned here. So Kohli to Surya is 104. That means when Surya will get out either 104 down the line or before. Okay. So Surya might get out either K plus 104 or Surya might also get out before Kohli. K minus 104 is also possible for Surya. Okay. So these are the two possibilities. These are the two possibilities. Okay. So this is how we have to interpret this table. So this is a very, very innovative way to present data. And this will be very tricky to unlock this. Okay. There's not a direct table in which scores of some players are given and we have a like a starting point. Right? This is a very tricky table. I think this point might as help us in solving this. Okay. It is known that Gil and Rohit were the opening batsmen. Okay. So in me se koi ek uh, shuru mein out hoga Gale and Rohit me se that is for sure because opening batsman hi sabse pehle koi unme se out hoga then someone will come in and then uh, the sequence uh, will continue okay so isi tarah ke se if I suppose taken one more example suppose Shreyas got out at a score of let's say when the team score was let's say P okay when Shreyas got out the team scores was P then Surya might got out at P plus 129 or P minus 129. So there is a gap of 129 in the score of the team when Shreyas and Surya got out. So this is how we have to read this table. So some questions uh, maybe regarding the sequence, some partnerships uh, for how much run the partnership for six wickets, some among uh, those lines. A team ka score they can ask. Okay. So first we'll just uh, try to unlock this table if we can. And then we'll hop on to the questions. Okay. So let's move on to the uh, working area. Okay. So let's move ahead. So this is how the table is given. Now let's try to uh, get what we can get here. Okay. So first of all, my focus is only on uh, Rohit and Gil. Why? Because they are the opening batsmen. I have to first unlock which batsman will get out first and then try to build from their own. Uh, there might be multiple cases also. I will have to think, I will have to set the data somehow. In such sets, you just have to set the data. Okay. If you are able to make an order which is consistent with this data, then we are through. Okay. So first, let me assume 
when rohit got out the score of the team was x assume the score of the team was x so when will surya get out x plus 91 okay so surya will get out at x plus 91 okay this is just an assumption we are taking okay we are trying to set it we are trying to get which player will let out first and then try to work uh, if there is some flaw then we will think the strategy again okay and when gil got out the score of the team assume it to be y okay so uh, when surya will get out at y plus 136 so surya will get out at y plus 136 okay now these two scores are equal only because x plus 91 is also a score when surya is getting out and y plus uh, 136 is also a score when surya is getting out though they ought to be equal okay so i have equated them i have equated them okay now if you see uh, if you get x that will be y plus 45 okay so that means x is more than y that is a conclusion x is more than y here this is the conclusion we are getting so x is more than y that means rohit is getting out at a much higher score than uh, gil team score i am talking about that means which will be the first wicket first wicket will be gil's wicket okay because x is more than y so rohit is getting out when team has scored a lot more as compared to when gil is getting out okay so because x is more than y that means our first wicket is gil okay our first wicket is gil so this is the uh, idea that we unlocked we tried to frame some equations here and we got an idea okay gil was the first batsman to get out now let us remove this and let us try to uh, get the sequencing okay so i am removing this i hope this is uh, this idea is clear okay this is how we started it and gil is the first one to depart so now let's erase this and let's write gil here okay okay he is the first one to fall and the score of the team assume it to be x assume it to be x score of team okay now this much we know now uh, rohit and gil the difference have a look at the difference between rohit and gil compare it with any player okay suppose i am comparing rohit and gil with respect to surya so this is a gap of surya to rohit is 91 team score and surya to gil is 136 okay so how much is will be the gap between rohit and gil that will be 136 minus 91 okay you can if you want to visualize you can think like that okay the visualization can work like this let me frame a diagram here so suppose i write uh, suppose gil is getting out here suppose rohit is getting out here and suppose surya is getting out here okay so surya to gil is 136 this line is this gap is 136 and this gap is 91 uh, surya to rohit is 90 that means they will have a gap of uh, 45 they will have a gap of 45 this is how we have to you have to visualize this situation every time you have to visualize this situation every time okay and you have to see acha this 45 remains constant you can compare it with, that means kuldeep will also come somewhere around after them okay jadeja will also come after these two and shami again this 45 is mentioned shami will also come in this area pandya will also come in this area okay so the other is gil and then somewhere rohit will get out and then afterwards these all will get out because there is a gap of consistency of uh, 45 okay we can have safely assume that okay so now let's go for uh, rohit i don't know rohit fall of wicket is which one but i know he will get out after a score of 45 45 friends more uh there will be gap in the score of the team that much we have unlocked rohit ka wicket kaun sa wala fall hoga that i am not able to get right now okay so let's move ahead now similar technique kill and kohli also we can uh, compare so there is a gap of 32 here so add 32 here okay so kohli i will write x plus 32 like that okay because there is a gap of 136 and 104 there is a gap of 32 so similar concept i am applying everywhere okay now gil and rohit is done gil and kohli is done gil and shreyas there is a gap of 7 so gil and shreyas there is a gap of 7 so let me write it here okay done then gil and kl rahul there is a gap of 60 and 136 that means there are gap of 76 so let me write kl rahul and it will be x plus 76 somewhere around like this okay so i hope that much is clear now this much we have unlocked we have 
seen all the players here now we will compare gil with uh, surya so there is a gap of 136 okay so surya will get out when the team has scored 136 more than x so that will be surya okay now again compare gil with kuldeep there is a gap of 102 so kuldeep will get out at x plus 102 okay and uh, then gil and jadeja again 102 so again i can write okay then gil and shami there is a gap of 140 okay there is a gap of 140 and all of them are obviously below they're getting out afterwards okay this is also clear and gil and pandya there is a gap of 161 so pandya will be at 161 this is the last one okay So this is how we are able to get the score of the team. Now we don't know x. x can be 20, x can be 100. I have no clue about x. Okay. So this is how we try to work in order of. Now we will see the fall of wicket as well. First player to got out was Gil. But we have to conclude about uh, other players as well. Okay. So this is a very, very interesting idea now. So after x, what is the minimum being added here? x plus 7. So Shreyas is the second wicket to fall. Okay. <coughs> then next is x plus 32. Kohli is the third one to go, third wicket to fall. Then Rohit, X plus 45, fourth wicket to fall. Okay, like that. Then Kehil Rahul is the fifth one. Okay, because X plus 76. You have to see the difference as the gap is increasing. Okay, this we have written randomly. This is not the actual order. Okay, so I'm writing the order now. Fall of wicket. Okay, then after 76, I think 102. But interestingly, there are two players getting out at a gap of 102. That means team score is same when they got out okay so anyone can be the sixth okay either it can be jadeja or it can be kuldeep sixth and seventh wicket has fallen at the same score so we are not able to conclude either it will be sixth or seventh or it will be seventh or sixth okay sixth jadeja seventh kuldeep or sixth kuldeep seventh jadeja both are possible i will not be able to conclude uh, who fell before okay because the score is same this is quite interesting. Now, uh, 136, this will be the 8th wicket, Surya. 9th wicket will be Shami and 10th will be Pandya. Okay. So, this is how we are able to frame the order of fall of wickets. And this is the team score. I am not able to get the actual score with a variable. I am able to get, okay, if he is getting out at x, everything else I am able to conclude. Okay. So, what was the key point to unlock this? First, visualizing this situation, this is a key point, understanding the table and starting point would have been Rohit and Gil for sure because they are the opening batsmen. You have to work somehow from that and try to set the data in this manner. And now you can verify uh, between any two players, the gap should be uh, what table suggests. Okay. There might be case with some assumption you start and then the table is not uh, verifying. Okay. So that you have to uh, reject. Okay. So you can see from the table. Gil and Rohit, there is a gap of 45. You can see, uh, you can compare it with any player. There is a gap of 45 here. And similarly, you can see Gil and Jadeja, there is a gap of 102 like that. Jadeja, we have 102 like that. And any value we can get from here. So I hope this is clear. Now let's jump on to the questions. Now there might be some hypothetical questions as well. We'll see what we get. Okay. So moving ahead on to the questions. So the first question for us is what was the partnership for the 10th wicket? Okay. Last wicket. Okay. 10th wicket. After the 10 wickets are gone, the innings end. Okay. So here the score was X plus 140 when Shami uh, got out and when Hardik Pandya got out, the score was X plus 161. Okay. So there is a gap of X plus 161. This is the 10th partnership. Okay. Last partnership minus X plus 140. So, I think the last wicket partnership is for 21 runs, okay. So this will be the answer for this one, 21. So, this is the gap here, we can directly write as well, 21 runs, okay. So, let's move on to the next question. Who was the sixth best man to get out, okay. So, we have to go for the fall of wickets and sixth and seventh, okay. There is a doubt there, okay, who got out at which place. So, let's see the options, uh, Kuldeep and Jadija, both are in the options. So, obviously, we will go with D because we will not be able to tell which one will be the sixth player to get out. Okay, so let's move ahead. 
रोहित वॉज द बैट्समैन टू गेट आउट ओके सो रोहित वॉज द फोर्थ बैट्समैन टू गेट आउट ओके रोहित गॉट आउट एट द फोर्थ नंबर ओके नाउ देर इज वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग आइडिया दैट आई वॉन्ट टू हाईलाइट फॉर कैट स्पेसिफिकली फॉर कैट दैट इज अ की लर्निंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑब्वियसली द टेक्निकल स्टफ दैट वी हैव सॉल्व एंड हाउ वी गॉट हाउ टू डीट द टेबल ऑल दैट इज गुड बट यू हैव टू बी स्मार्ट वाइल गिविंग सच एग्जामिनेशन नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन इन इट सेल्फ इज अ बिग हिंट रोहित वॉज दैश बैट्समैन टू गेट आउट दिस इज नो ऑप्शन फॉर द फर्स्ट देर वॉज एन हिंट रोहित एंड गिल स्टार्टेड द इनिंग्स एंड रोहित कैन नॉट बी द फर्स्ट वन टू गेट आउट दैट मीन्स गिल माइट हैव बीन द फर्स्ट वन टू गेट आउट एंड वी वुड हैव दैट वुड हैव सेव दस अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड गिवन एज अ हेड वे टू सॉल्व इट इवन फास्टर सो ऑलवेज गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वाइल गिविंग अटेम्प्टिंग एनी सेट फर्स्ट गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन हैव अ लुक आर यू एबल टू गेट सम फर्दर हिंस आर यू एबल टू मेक सम केसेस टू मेक योर वे इजियर फॉर कैट ओके दिस इज अज हिंट आई एम गिविंग यू हेयर so this tricks and uh, techniques you can use for cat that will be helpful so if you have gone through the questions you would have able to save our time and we could have directly uh, jump on to the solution that is possible in many of the sets in cat keep that in mind okay so a uh, brilliant okay let's move ahead last question uh, if the team scored 193 runs so innings ended at 193 so let me equate it to 193 X plus 161 is our score. That is 193. So X will be how much? That will be 193 minus 161. That will be 32. So X ki value we got 32 here. Okay. What was the score when Surya got out? Okay. So Surya, you have to read X plus 136. Okay. So answer will be X plus 136. So X is how much? 32. 32 plus 136. So answer for this question will be 168. so surya got out when the score of the team is 168 once you have a value of x for any particular question then you can obviously make out the whole innings then variable we don't have to you can put in the value of the plug in the value of the variable and then you will have the whole table for yourself okay so i hope this beautiful set is clear to you you might have enjoyed given the world cup uh, the set based on the indian cricket team thank you very much please subscribe to our channel of ln cat for more such amazing content thank you